Hi guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you an announcement video because this year I'm helping to host March Mystery Madness, and today is the day that we're announcing it, so I'm super excited. Now, you're probably going to see this video a bunch of times in your feeds because we got like 20 hosts this year, so it's pretty cool. I'm super excited. We got all sorts of people. We got Steve Donahue. We got Joe from Retired Book Nerd. We got Courtney from Quartagonist. We got all these cool people that are booktube well-known people, and we're so excited. And of course, we're being um, led by the wonderful Elizabeth from Lizzie Faye Loves Books. She's one of my all-time favorite booktube people. So, let's just get right into it. What is March Mystery Madness, you ask? Well, it's a month-long um, reading challenge going from March 1st to March 31st, and you're just encouraged to read as mysteries. You can read, you know, as many mysteries as you want. If you don't normally read mysteries, then start by reading one mystery. But if you're already a prolific mystery reader, then read some more mysteries. And to help you along, we got six prompts that we are suggesting in case you want some structure to this event. But you don't have to do the prompts. Just read some mysteries and you'll be participating. So let's just get into the prompts, shall we? So the first prompt is Shelf, and this is a book that you can get off your own shelf, you can get it off your library shelf, you can get it off a friend's shelf, you can get it off a bookstore shelf, some book that you got off a shelf, wherever you get it from the shelf. Really easy, really vague. You can find one, I know you can. The second prompt is Borrow, and that is just for borrowing from the library, borrowing from a friend, borrowing it from whoever. A book, a mystery that you borrow. Again, intentionally vague. We want everybody to be able to participate. So, we got new and we got, or no, sorry, we got shelf and we got borrow. And the third one is new. And that means, you know, you can read a new release, a book you just bought, um, a new to you author, a new to you genre, anything that's new. You know, doesn't have to be something that was published this year, but it can be just something that's new to you in some way. Um, prompt four is historical. So this can be a historical novel, a classic mystery, or a historical mystery, a classic mystery. Um, you know, this would be a place where you could read Sherlock Holmes or Agatha Christie or something like that. Or if you like those, you know, mysteries that are, have been released that um, are set in past times, you could do that. You know, I know um, there's a lot of mysteries like that, like Macy Dobbs. You can read Macy Dobbs for the historical prompts. You know, some historical mystery in some capacity to fit this prompt. And then number four, no, number five, number five is foreign. So this could be um, a foreign um, author, like somebody from another country, a um, mystery that was published first in another country, a mystery that takes place in a foreign country, a mystery that's a foreign genre to you, anything that's foreign. You know, pretty vague. You can find something. And then the last one, prompt number six, is opposite. So you can read, we, the initial idea was for this prompt was to read um, two books that were opposite of each other, but you can also read a genre that you're not normally used to reading, something that's opposite to your reading taste, just anything that's opposite to you in some capacity. So those are all our prompts. And along with the prompts, we're going to be having Twitter sprints and Twitter challenges and things like that. And every post is going to be doing two um, videos. So the whole month of March, there's going to be at least one mystery-related video every day. And it's going to be super fun. And I'm so excited. And all of the many, many hosts will be linked down below, and you can check them all out. They're all posting their announcement videos today, and we're super excited. And if you have any questions about March Mystery Madness, feel free to leave them in the comments, or hit us up on Twitter, or whatever. You can find us, and all of my contract stuff down there, too. So anywho, I'm so excited about March Mystery Madness and about reading some more mysteries. 
and I hope everybody participates, and I hope everybody is starting to think about what mysteries you might want to read. I already personally got my TBR picked out, and I already went to the library and got it, because I was afraid that some of them would be checked out if I waited too long, so I already got tons of mysteries in my house, and I'm so excited. So yeah, March Mystery Madness, coming soon, March 1st. Get ready, because we're excited. Okay, I hope everybody's having a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.